gone very, very well. Um, we have great numbers in at the moment. Lads have been working really, really hard. Um, I think players tend to like pre-season in that, you know, it's new and it's fresh and that kind of thing. And they don't like being run around the place, but they're enjoying the newness and the freshness. They're enjoying the new faces being around the place. And there's it's really been an excellent buzz. I mean, we had our first game there last Tuesday night up in Dundalk, um, beating 2 nil, but very, very impressive. And obviously great work out tonight. So, so far, so good. Um, I would have said initially, certainly, because we've lost some good quality players, um, but I think they've been most adequately replaced, um, all going well. Um, we've some really, really good new players in. We've lost, obviously, yeah, they were three, three or four or five players who played important roles for us last year. But as you saw out there tonight, um, the players who've, who've stepped up from 19s or the players, fresh players that we brought in from other areas look like they can, they, they can more than fill the void. Absolutely, um, no doubt about it whatsoever. They're gone in both directions. Um, we have two players who had fantastic seasons for Watford United last year in with us, in uh, Peter Higgins and Ben Ryan. We've brought Killian Cantwell in um, from the underage setup. Three super, super players. Obviously, you've got the few boys gone the other direction. Look, it never lacks for intensity anyway, but I think it probably will ratchet it up another bit, yeah. Excellent, absolutely excellent. Um, just so much opportunity to learn some fantastic speakers in from from various different walks of life. Um, I mean, even I mean the CEO, I mean John Delaney himself, talking to you about leadership and management. He might directly be a coach, but you can learn an awful lot from that. I thought quite possibly the best person we had in on the pro license was Pat Gilroy, a man from a completely different sport altogether. I, I thought he was an absolute fountain of knowledge, um, and probably to be fair, the biggest area of improvement in knowledge was talking to other managers, um, picking their brains. A lot of guys that I hadn't met. Even the social point down in the bar it has absolutely huge benefit. You're, you're, you're throwing out ideas, you're finding out different ways different people do it. You're coming away thinking, yeah, I might incorporate that into the way I do it a little bit. Um, but all in all, I, I certainly like to think that it, it, it's improved me as a coach and a manager all going well anyway. <music> expectations for this year is to, to uh, prove the bookies wrong again. Look, we're, we're, we're favourites to finish bottom every season. Every season so far, this will be my third year in charge. Every year I look at, at Paddy Power and Boyles and all these boys and they have his favourites to finish bottom. Um, we finished fourth and fifth in our two seasons. I, I think we're, we're, we're constantly overachieving because the, the attitude of the players we have means they, they just, they're more than the sum of their parts. Um, and that's what we'll hope to be again this year. We'll, we'll hope to be more than the sum of our parts. If that season's finish sixth, seventh, so be it. Look, I'd love to think that I could see us finish even higher up. Promotion. Um, look, I mean, the, the squad that Longford have assembled, bringing in the boys from Rovers, probably more importantly keeping David O'Sullivan. It's very, very hard to look past them. <laughs> really, really, very, very hard to look past them. Um, after that, I think it's extremely open. I think Galway are shaping up really, really nicely. Um, Waterford had a good squad last year and have taken some good quality players from ourselves. Um, I think it's, 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 it's the Rovers thing is going to be very, very interesting. And shells are shells. I mean, you know, absolutely can't write them off. Finn Harps Cove will be looking to do a lot better than they did last year, like ourselves. It's, it's just going to be absolutely wide open. I, I certainly look at Longford as favourites after that. Take your pick. Thank <laughs> you.